All right. So I wanted to you know, appreciate everyone coming. Uh, obviously, this is a, a continuation uh, for, for us a bit on Edge Day where we sponsored there as well. We want to talk about that. Uh, I think we've talked about multi-cloud sort of being a thing for a while. I think we're really starting to see it take off. And one, Kubernetes is driving it because VMs weren't as portable as we were promised. But really bringing up the scale and the diversity of locations, Edge is really pushing this boundary. We're seeing a lot of very interesting use cases. I think, firstly, we have some survey data I'm going to talk about in a second that came out after Valencia, and uh, we're finding that there's a lot more business value in Edge. You know, 67% of users said it made it more innovative and competitive. We're seeing very creative use cases coming out, ranging from customer sentiment analytics in retail to drones picking fruit. So very exciting things that are sort of developing in Edge, and it's bringing up a couple of uh, patterns that we found in the research. Um, this research is available on our website if you want to download it. The firm that did it is Dimensional Research. Uh, we've been doing this every year, and I think we had 500-something uh, people in the survey, so the sample size is getting pretty good-sized of uh, people who are participating. Uh, so it shows growth in Kubernetes, growth in Edge, et cetera. One, we're seeing, obviously, how do you manage scale? Uh, the scale problem, you know, how we manage Kubernetes in a data center in the cloud is very different from how we manage it when we have thousands of devices. I think interesting next is security. Um, we have these devices that have sensitive data. They're close to the data, and we also don't want the devices to leave. So things like encryption at rest and making sure the devices are well managed, which is the third bullet point. So I wanted to sort of just talk about some of the data and why we've been doing some of the things we've been doing and really focused on edge. We've also... Uh, sponsored an open source project called Kairos. Um, so feel free to take a look at it, kairos.io. Our head of open source is here somewhere, um, who's, who's sort of governed this. This has reached 1.0 in GA. Um, we actually use this because we think it's really important to how do you put an OS and a Kubernetes on these devices? The form factor is different. The way you want the operating system configured, the which Kubernetes distro f is, is best fit for your use case. We just found sort of a, a, a need to have a better sort of community way to have a, a mutable and easily composable uh, uh, project that can just help you manage these and get, get these edge devices up better. And so, you know, we really want to make it an immutable stack, you know, manage it over the wire. One of our customers that spoke with me at Valencia was GE Healthcare, and they talked about their biggest problem in Edge that they spoke about during this session, during Edge Day, was actually just the cost and, and effort it takes to manage these devices in the field. So they've been reducing their, their uh, spend in field engineering at their customers' facilities by 20 million a year so far. And so Kairos is a big piece of that. We're obviously using it in what we do within our Palette Edge product, but we also want to contribute back. You know, so we're obviously stacking on top of it, but there's a lot of functionality. So we definitely want to invite people to have a look at Kairos, uh, contribute to it. You know, it's another project we think helps build the community. And uh, we're glad to be a sponsor. We're out there. Uh, we have some great stickers and hopefully looking forward to engaging with everyone and having some great conversations about Edge. Thanks for everyone being here.